What the heck is up, you guys? It's your boy Ace, aka Animated Heroes, here back with another Who Did It Better episode. And I know it's been a while since I've done one of these, but a lot of you guys have been asking for this comparison. So I decided to go ahead and get to working on it for you guys. And here we are. Now, in case you're new here, basically what this is is I take two action figures of the same character made by different companies, and I compare the two of them in order for you guys to decide which of them you want to add to your collection. Now, if you do already have either of them or both, basically this is just a video for your enjoyment. So here we are once again talking about Chainsaw Man, one of the most outlandish looks for an anime character <laughs> to date, but it is a very enjoyable anime. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get started diving right into the sexy packaging. Now ultimately I'm gonna stop adding the sexy packaging portion to these who did it better videos simply because I do discuss them in detail in the actual reviews I do but in this one I wanted to be specific about one thing and it's the fact that I love that SH Fig Yards decided to go with the color scheme of the actual manga covers I love that they did that so in terms of the box as you guys can see we've got a chainsaw man right here some yellow writing a whole lot of orange going on blacks at the top chainsaw man nothing much going on at the bottom and then of course on the back you've got some poses you can get the figure into as well as stuff at the bottom i can't read because it's imported pretty much the same thing with the figma box here it's a lot less colorful but i still love the fact that it has that orange and green halloween colors for me and i love that we've got two images of him right here uh we've got this one on the top same image on the bottom on this side we've got a cocky dingy right here getting ready to transform and then again on the back some poses you can get the figure into as well as some stuff that doesn't really matter at the bottom no anyway let's go ahead and take a look at the figures because that's what we're here for now first things first I do want to go ahead and get this out of the way before I even start to dissect either of these figures if you're here because you think that I am going to completely dog or talk down about one figure over the other that is not what I'm about to do now I mentioned earlier some of you guys have probably already made your decision on which of these you like better but this video is not to talk trash about either of these it's basically for anyone watching to make an educated pick on which one of these they want in case they don't have it now if you've already made up your mind and you already have either of these or both then just sit back relax enjoy the video as we discuss the good the bad the ugly and whatever else that comes in between now let's go ahead and take a closer look at these two figures so we can break down some of the details now one thing I forgot to mention in the last segment but I wanted to make sure to include in this video is that this time around I am going to be showcasing Denji throughout the entirety of the review in his Chainsaw Man look. I specifically reviewed him mostly as Denji just because I knew when I did this comparison video I wanted to compare them both as Chainsaw Man simply because you don't have the option to change him to the powered down version with the SH Fig Yards. Now looking at them both up close I'm sure Sure you guys have already noticed there are plenty of differences in the aesthetics and even the paint scheme now the first thing I want to talk about is the head sculpt if you look at the heads on both of these you'll see that the Figma is painted darker than the SHF now these are both accurate because I've seen him with the darker helmet or head sculpt basically and I've also seen him with the lighter helmet now one thing I can say is I love the fact that SH Fig Yards painted the yellow eye behind it. Unfortunately, Figma did not do that. I wish they would have, but it's not that much of a bother. Now, another thing SH Fig Yards did that absolutely killed Figma in this one is the fact that they painted blood on the chainsaw. Now, we know SHF normally avoids blood, but this time around, I don't know. I guess they decided to come through, and I'm so happy that they did. Now, that being said, though, the chainsaws look so much better 
um, the Figma. And I do want to add that these things are sharp, man. Um, I have poked my finger a couple of times with the blades on the Figma, and man, it hurts. I'll be honest with you guys. These just kind of look like a bunch of like, I don't know, nails in the chainsaw versus the Figmas actually looks like a chainsaw. So I don't know, Figma killed it in that department. Now when it comes to the detailing on both of these figures, I gotta give it to SHF, man. The Figma is more sleek and you don't really see a whole lot of detailed wrinkles and sculpt work done in the clothing versus the SHF. There's wrinkles and things all over this guy man and there's subtle shading here and there also which i really enjoy um i love the design and the aesthetics of the sh figure so much more now when it comes to the shirts as you guys can see on this one the figma just kind of has like a little slit right here versus this one has a whole opening in the shirt like a pocket so um I don't know which is more accurate, but it doesn't really bother me. I like both of these. Actually, I know the Figma's more accurate. I don't think he has this pocket unless at some point he does change uh, shirts. Uh, maybe that happens and I just didn't notice it because these designs are pretty much relatively the same. Now, he does have the wrinkles in the pants, which ultimately make these look so much better on the SHF. Going all the way down to the feet, I love the look of the shoes better on the SHF just because of the fact that they're big. Bigger, they're more busted wide open uh, they have that uh, delinquent look to them which is something I said in my Figma review when I compared the two of these but ultimately aesthetically I gotta give it to the uh, SHF and oh one thing I did forget if you look at the skin tones on both SHF does have more of a realistic look to it I think it's painted more nicely versus the Figma is just kind of molded in this yellowish color uh, nothing wrong with either of them but again I just think the SH figure arts looks better because it has more detail you got the blood on the arms just so many things that make it stand out now anyway let's go ahead and put these guys back so we can discuss the height now getting into the height on these guys to the top of the figma's head as you can see he's right at about six inches and then to the top of the shf he's about the same maybe a tad bit taller but not really enough that it's even a noticeable difference so it showcases that figma is continuing to slightly scale up their figures a little bit and that makes me happy both of them i think are perfect you really can't go wrong with either now if you want to see how they scale with other figures i will be showing some size comparisons a little bit later on in the review Moving on to the articulation, I decided I'd start with the SH Figure Arts just because of the fact that I just came fresh off of the review for the Figma, so why not review this one first? He looks up about that much, which isn't bad. Looks down about that much, which also isn't bad. He does get all kinds of tilt and turn at the neck. It works very well. Now, one thing I do want to say is to be careful with this jaw plate here because it does fall off a lot this isn't a problem that i had with the figma as of yet but it's really bad with the shf now the arms go up and out about that much before they pop off one other problem i want to pull out about this guy is i don't like the more I look at these shoulders, the more they kind of bother me because if you look at it, it kind of looks like they sink in right here where it's actually supposed to lift up. If you look at the human anatomy, uh, this is where your shoulder blades are and they rise. So why they have them sinking in, I don't know. Obviously it's for design purposes, but it is like very weird looking the more you look at it. But that being said, this design works very well with articulation because those butterfly joints are extremely effective you can swivel the arms all the way around he does have a swivel right here at the uh, forearm but one thing I do want to say is be careful with that because of the fact that this has painted blood on it it does paint rub onto this white and the same goes for the chin here when you have it touching his collar it will paint rub so yes be careful of that single jointed elbow double jointed range which is very effective you can also maneuver these around very well the hands don't move at all so you aren't going to get any range out of those but still i mean they're not meant to they're big chainsaws now this is where things really get good the diaphragm joint man this guy moves like a charm back 
forward, left, right, up, down. Then same thing at the waist. He can turn. He can lean forward very well. Some of it's going to come out of the waist. Some of it's going to come out of the diaphragm. But ultimately, he moves very, very well. Kicks up all the way all the way i'm sorry figma is not beating that but it is because this crotch piece is a very 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 soft plastic he kicks back about that much he does have a thigh swivel splits are absolutely no problem double jointed knees that not only work well they look amazing and then when it comes to the ankle rocker ah man they couldn't have done that better these shoes just work so so well and then he does also have a toe hinge so articulation wise this figure does it all man this is where shf is really gonna take the cake because man you're not gonna be able to get the figma in this pose right here when it comes to the articulation for the figma i've heard plenty of people say that it is very stiff and quite honestly that's not a lie but i mean he still moves decent now he looks up only about that much which isn't good at all but he does look down just fine that is perfect you can maneuver that neck around but it will pop off just because of the way they have it to where you plug it in there obviously that's because you can swap the head now it doesn't pop off easily i was just kind of messing with it and forcing it a bit much now when it comes to the shoulders this is where the biggest problem with the figma hits for me because of the fact that the butterfly joint is at an angle it kind of protrudes outward and so when you're maneuvering the arms and you want them them to go backwards they're not really gonna go back you can bring them forward very well and I think they did that on purpose for you to be able to get those chainsaw slashing poses but sadly it does limit the articulation moving the arm backwards now this does rotate all the way around he does have a swivel built in but it's actually at the lower arm now one other issue i want to mention with this figma here is that once you've got these chainsaw hands on these do come off very easily even when you're articulating it as you guys can see it just kind of wiggled off of there no problem i wish they would stay but i mean hey i'd rather they pop off than break but still it's not the best uh, now moving them in you don't get a whole lot of range it's a single jointed elbow and that's about as much as you get so that's a little disappointing I wish for more but it does work now when it comes to the torso articulation this is where Figma takes the cake because the diaphragm joint works very well about as effective as the SHF but when you maneuver down to the waist this guy leans all the way forward all the way forward now granted there's going to be a bit of gapping in the back but that's with any figure that has this kind of range of motion it's just going to happen but he does swivel at the waist just fine and you can just maneuver this so well uh, it's just i was going to say manipulate but i said maneuver again uh but yeah that's going to be word of the video but yeah this thing just moves so well man now moving down to the legs this is where things get a little bit limited uh because of this crotch piece that they chose it's a bit of a harder plastic not entirely but the problem is they cut these slits in there hoping that it would help to get more articulation but really it doesn't help at all because if you do that if you try to move the legs out too much it's just gonna pop off and that's one of the issues i even had with the jujutsu kaisen figures man i don't know what it is about figma's design but the legs just kind of pop off that's about as much as you're going to kick out before it pops off again so you can do the splits about that much he does have an inner thigh swivel not the most effective but it does work single jointed knee doesn't look the best but it does work I wish you could get a tad bit more movement out of it, but it's not too bad. And when it comes to the foot, the ankle articulation is done well enough. Still not better than SHF, but it does work. As you guys can see, you can turn those ankles and then there is a toe hinge. So yes, he's definitely stiff in comparison to the SHF, but I have been able to get this figure in a lot of poses and enjoy it and this time around I'm going to show some photos I've taken at the end of the video since it's been a while since I've done that.
Now looking at the accessories on this guy, it's very evident who the winner is because when you look at the SH Figure Arts version, you get almost nothing in comparison to the Figma. You get two interchangeable heads or face plates basically, which is one where he has the tongue out and then one where he's kind of grinning. You get two interchangeable ties, which I really love that they did that. And then you get three sets of hands. One thing I do like about how they did this is that you can put all of these hands on the chainsaw blades. Now, it's not necessary and sometimes it can become quite annoying changing them out because when the pieces don't connect they will fall and hit the floor and then you got to look for them and so something that just sticks would be cool but it's always good to have more options now when you're looking at the figma as you guys can see you get pretty much the same expressions in terms of the chainsaw man head sculpt but then you get three optional dingy face plates you get a grinning expression a kind of talking expression and then you've got his signature tongue out expression you get pochita you get the axe you get interchangeable arms for when he's powered down four sets of hands and then you even get a stand now granted a stand is not really that important of an accessory but extra is extra and it has to be counted so as you can see there's no reason to even debate on which company takes the cake on this one figma absolutely nailed it and for just 10 15 dollars more i think it's worth it you get a a whole lot more moving on to the size comparisons I decided to make it a little bit easier on myself and just take some screenshots from my reviews and attach them side by side so you can see how both of these figures scale next to some of the same characters some that are different now the reason I chose to do some of the same characters is so that you guys can see that they do pretty much stand almost identical in height and so you don't have to worry about one dingy or one chainsaw man being taller than the other now if you do want to see how they scale with other figures such as metacom toy mafex or marvel legends of course you can actually go check out my review but you don't have to worry too much again they do stand pretty much identical in height and so you don't really have to run into any problems with this one now ultimately it's obvious a lot of people are going to choose the SH figure arts just because of the fact that it looks better and it poses better it moves much more fluid and like the Figma it's not exactly a very stiff figure now that being said though for the people that are going to choose the Figma or the people that just like Figma in general and so they're going to pick it because of their own biases, the Figma is a very enjoyable figure if you're someone who knows what to expect from Figma and you enjoy their figures overall. Now I have found plenty of enjoyment from the Figma version if not as posing him in chainsaw man i've enjoyed posing him around as dingy i have really taken a whole lot of shots of him just powered down doing crazy things as dingy and i really haven't had a problem getting him in the poses that i've wanted him to yes some of them do look a little stiff yes some of them aren't as mobile as i want them to be but i mean that doesn't really bother me because when i purchased this i already knew what to expect so ultimately at the end of the day both of these figures have their pros and their cons the shf version is extremely lacking in accessories i would have gladly paid an extra 15 20 dollars in order to get a ton more accessories of him as dingy and as the chainsaw man and that's where i gotta say figma really gives you the bang for your buck because for about 10 20 dollars more you get a ton more accessories you're able to complete everything that dingy was throughout the entirety of chainsaw man season one and something like that alone allows me to believe that it's at least worth the money whether you think it's better than the shf or not i would still say that makes it worth it now if you're really someone who can switch up the parts and attach Figma accessories to the SHF, then you've got yourself the ultimate figure. I don't know if that's possible or not. That is way beyond me, but still. I found enjoyment in both of these and honestly if you put your differences aside your biases to the side I think that you could do the same now ultimately I'm not going to tell you to buy both because we all know that SHF is going to make their version of dingy at some point hopefully sooner rather than later because man I really want that figure and I hope that it comes with everything that the Figma version included the axe pochita and everything else because if they lack on that 
that, then ultimately it still means Figma kind of got the W over them in terms of the accessories. The accessories, that's what I said. So, yeah, but still, I like both of these, man, and I feel like you guys might can find some enjoyment in the figma and the shf so there it is another episode of who did it better down i hope that you guys enjoyed it if so don't forget to give it a thumbs up because that always helps me out subscribe to my channel if you haven't already make sure to hit that bell icon to be notified whenever i upload new content and last but not least follow me on everything you see listed in the description below to keep up with my activity outside of youtube hope you guys have a great rest of your day stay safe wherever you are and uh bye